Back at the ranch. Maiden Voyage. First smoke in the uh, OMS Black Widow by uh, none other than, yep, that's right. You guessed it. Mark Bolkovic. Pittsburgh, PA, in the house. Some uh, Presbyterian. That I got from uh, Tobacco Burner. Anyway, pipe is smoking nice. Liking it. Thank you, Mark. It's a beautiful thing, man. Love the rustication on this pipe and this uh, red inlay that he did on here is just freaking off the chain, man. It's nuts looking. Depending on how the light hits it, it could be like, it's got like some, reminds me of like Mother of Pearl. When the light hits it just right, it just has this glow to it. And other times it's blood red. Like on this, particularly on this side of the pipe, it's uh nice unfortunately got an email from Mark today he was working on a pipe for tobacco row on some beautiful grain had man this this piece of briar man had some beautiful flame grain in it and uh, Mark was working on the bowl and discovered uh, a crack uh, in the briar that went all the way through so Unfortunate. What? That's the nature of Briar. What can you do? So, Mark is, um, Got some other briar that, that he says is pretty nice and he's gonna start working on a another pipe for tobacco row. Wanna give a shout out to uh, some new bots crew members. Nick and his pipe, and uh, James, Astro Man 2112, the train is rolling. So, welcome guys. Good, uh, Pipe smoking weather here. Twitter is off the chain today. Um, talk to Jeff Rowe on Skype. That camera man. Ooh, wee. <laughs> man, if you get that, it's going to be on. It's going to be uh, some real sight stuff going on for show. Uh, pipe guy Rye, type guy Rye, uh, had a tree come crashing down on his house. Not a good way to start out the winter. It's too bad, uh, 
I wasn't up there, man. I grab a chainsaw, man, and get that thing off there. I'm uh, quite proficient. I used to work for the Department of Forestry, and uh, that's all I did, man, fighting forest fires and doing stream clearance and fuel breaks and stuff. I quite proficient at a chainsaw. I was actually uh, a uh, crew foreman of about 14 guys, and I used to be the lead chainsaw guy. And um, also, after after I was out of that, I, I worked for a Splund uh, for a while. So I don't know. Uh, he said he talked to some other guys about getting that uh, tree uh, trimmed up, and they didn't want to touch it for some reason. I don't know why. But anybody that you know is um, you know got any expertise in cutting trees can get in there and cut that tree without damaging anything. So I don't understand. Uh, why they wouldn't touch it. What else is going on? Uh, Matthew got a new Monde, uh, Mario Grande pipe. Man, that thing's nice too. I like the grain on that. As I said before, I'm not a huge Mario Grande uh, fan. I just don't like the extravagant shapes and stuff for those those pipes I mean they are what they are they have their following and everything but just not my style but uh that pipe he got is sweet so uh a little bit more about uh Mark Bolkovic, he, uh, all the materials that he uses for the bits, they're all, uh, you know, solid uh, stock. Uh, this is uh, ebonite, and it takes him about two days uh, to uh, make the bit. And this bit right here is um, with the inlay, and it's actually three pieces. So, It's pretty nice, and uh, Mark's been making, uh, messing around with uh, making pipes for about five years now, and so I would encourage everybody to to check him out. He's a good dude, real down to earth, uh, nice nice people, and uh, he's another one of our honorary members of the. Uh, bots crew as well so that's how we do things out here uh, Baps is getting a, an OMS tattoo on his chest <laughs> oh man uh, <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm still laughing about that man that's crazy <laughs> Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, which reminds me um I got a a week of vacation uh coming up here in uh what is it? January. And uh if I can, I'm going to make it make it back up there uh to Virginia so we can uh go to PA and uh but I haven't uh, said anything to the wife. She's been in a mood last couple of days. So, you know, it's all about timing when it comes to women. And I'm just ready for that, that right time to say, hey, you know, I got that uh, time off in January. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll make another trip up to, to Virginia. See what she says. Yeah, I like this pipe, man. It's just... Mm. Nice. Very light. Smokes well. Fits good in the mouth. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Oh, James. 
Got a birth year Dunhill. That thing is sick, man. That just the way that the bit curves down, just how I like it. It's a nice dunny right there. So congratulations on that, James. Been messing around on eBay again. <laughs> Look at that boy boy. It's an Emerson CQC 13. Traditional Bowie uh, style um, blade on it. Uh, it's got the wave feature on there so it deploys when you pull it out of your pocket if you do it in the correct manner. It's um, a nice little blade right here. Q, uh, in case you don't know, QCQ is uh, stands for uh, close quarter contact or combat. It's basically um, a <clears throat> self de self defense module. It's got uh, G10 handles. Not sure if that's coming in. titanium liners it's got some nice jimping right here it's got a nice nice grip real good piece of steel right there Emerson 20, uh, 2010 mod model manufactured this year now uh, <clears throat> I just gotta stay the hell off eBay look at the tip on that thing Sick. Oh, Jake did. <laughs> FedEx lost uh, a nice shipment of uh, Briar that was going to Jake that Jake had ordered. Hmm. Not news you want to hear, particularly when he has uh, so many. Um, orders that he's got to fill but uh hopefully FedEx will get it straightened out and they're really on a roll I think they destroyed uh, Matthew's uh, box and damaged uh, a snake cage and all kinds of stuff and All right, fellas, I'm out of here. Peace out. Sweet smoke.